Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you something that had a huge impact on my financial journey. The dividend strategy that literally changed my life. If you are new to my channel, my name is Devi Das, a retired engineer. If you are looking for a way to generate passive income and build your long-term growth, this strategy will blow your mind away. So grab a cup of coffee or tea, sit back, relax and enjoy the presentation. So what is dividend investing? Let's quickly break down what the dividend investing is. When you buy shares of certain companies, they pay you a portion of the profits in the form of dividend, essentially paying you for owning their stocks. It's like owning a piece of the company and getting rewarded for it. There are two main kinds of dividends, the monthly dividend and the quarterly dividend. Personally, I focus on a mix of both. Imagine getting paid without lifting your finger. That's what hooked me into this strategy. The moment that changed everything. Now let me take you back a few years when I started investing. I was like many of you working on a regular job and I was not sure how I can make this money work for me. That's when I stumbled upon dividend investing. I still remember my first dividend payment. It was very small, but it just clicked. That's when I realized that this is the true passive income. That moment completely shifted my mindset. I was not working for money anymore. The money was working for me. Here is the strategy that worked for me. I focused on number one, high quality dividend stocks. These companies not only pay dividends, but also increase their dividends over time. These are often referred to as dividend aristocrats. Number two, reinvest dividends. Whatever dividends I receive, I did not spend it. I reinvested them into buy more shares. Number three, diversification. I made sure to diversify my portfolio across different sectors like financial, utilities, energy, real estate, and more. This minimizes the risk and I'm not depending on one company or one industry for my income. The results, how my life changed. Now you're probably wondering how this strategy has changed my life. Well, fast forward a few years, the dividend income has become a substantial part of my overall cash flow. As I mentioned before, I'm a retired engineer and I do not rely on a regular paycheck anymore. I've reached a point where my dividend income can cover a significant portion of my living expenses. And the best part is I'm still growing my portfolio. This strategy has given me freedom, the freedom to live on my own terms, knowing I've built a passive income stream that works for me even when I am sleeping. Now I'm going to talk about one position. I will just show you a chart and some numbers. I want to keep it very short and I don't want to bore you to death, but I think it's important to look at this chart and the numbers associated with it. And as I mentioned before, I am also for diversification. So I have other stocks uh, from different sectors as well in my portfolio. So I'm looking at the Bank of Montreal chart here. This is uh, in Toronto Stock Exchange. So these are all in Canadian dollars. Look at the box on your left. So I started purchasing shares of this company in November 2008 and I ended in April 2015. So I have actually paid $50,635 in total investment and I have purchased shares with different prices, obviously, uh, but 821 shares. The average purchase price was $61.67. The annual dividend in April 2015 was $3.20 per share. So every quarter was 80 cents per share. So for that amount of shares, I was getting a total of $2,960 as dividends per year. But I have been reinvesting these dividends from day one and today, which is September 4, the number of shares have increased from 821 to 1383 shares and the closing price today is $112.23 on September 4, 2024. And the total value of my portfolio is now $155,304. So basically it has already um, tripled from my initial investment of about $50,600. The present annual dividend is $6.20 per share. So for the amount of shares I have, the total dividend I get today is $8,580 per year. So that's basically on the chart. For the share price from 2008 to 2024, the compounded annual growth rate of the share price is about 6.43%. And between 2015 and 2024, it's about 3.56%. So if I average it out, the average share price growth 
compounded annually is about 5%. Same thing with the dividend. If I compare the dividend yield from 2008 to 2024, the compounded annual growth rate is about 5.15%. If I only take the dividend growth rate between 2015 and 2024, the average growth rate annual is 7.21%. So for our discussion, let's say the average annual dividend growth rate is about 6.2%. But the actual amount of dividend that I'm getting, the story is a bit different. In 2015, the total amount of dividend I got was $2,960 per year. But in September 2024, I'm getting $8,580 per year. And the average annual growth rate is 11.85. That's a significant amount and that's because of dividend reinvestment. Now I'm going to present a table with the growth rates that I mentioned and I'm going to show you the difference it makes for reinvesting dividends and not reinvesting dividends and how it changes for 10 years, 20 years and 30 years. So you can see from this table that if you're not reinvesting dividends at the end of 10 years your principal has increased from $50,000 to $81,445 and your annual dividend income has become $4,726 per year. But if you have invested these dividends back into the shares, that principal would have risen to $136,078 and your dividend income per year would have been $7,097 in 10 years time. And if you do that for 20 years, these are the numbers. And if you do that for 30 years, these are the numbers. You can see that if you reinvest dividends, even starting with $50,000 for 30 years, your principal becomes $1.2 million and you are getting about $76,000 as dividends per year, just not doing anything from a $50,000 investment that you did 30 years ago. Although these investments have been late in my career, can you imagine if you have started this strategy when you're 20 years old or when you are in the 20s, you have 30 years to grow this investment. So that's the dividend snowball effect. So the question is how you can start your own dividend journey today. Here is a simple three-step plan. Number one, do your research. Look for companies with a history of paying and increasing dividends. Number two, start small. You don't need thousands of dollars to get started. Even a little bit counts. Be consistent. That's the most important part. Regularly contribute to your portfolio and reinvest your dividends to grow your wealth over time. I have created several videos on dividend investing and ETF investing, dividend aristocrats. These are the links of some of the playlists that I have. You can go and watch them now. If you found value in this video, please like and share. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and press the bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy investing.